So this hand is a hand that we're going to make into a creature hand. I'm going to use the same process as the human hand. I'm going to be using the polyurethane paints again with the flexible polyurethane paint base. And then I'm going to finish that off with a matte coating as well, just to take off any shine. Again, to start off with, I'm just going to cut back any areas that have got any sort of seams or air bubbles on there before I start painting. Again, I'm using a scalpel, um, some sort of like little tweezers just to grab any areas that I need to get and some sharp nail scissors as well. So in the previous video, I was painting up the hand to look realistic. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a bit more creature-like. So I've got my reference pictures here as before. I'm going to be focusing mostly on the fingers, the nails, the detailing down here because a lot of this hand is going to be um, hair punched as well. So the hair is going to cover up quite a lot of the skin. But I am going to be putting on a darker base just um, so that if any there are any gaps within the hair, then that'll just show through as a bit of a darker base. So I'm going to be focusing on sort of darker tones and detailing along the fingers and around the nails as well. So to paint the creature hand I'm following exactly the same steps as I did with the human hand. I'm using polyurethane paints with the Euroflex paint base and finishing it off with the Aqualac matte to mattify the hand. So on this hand we're going to be punching some hair into it. I'm going to be using some hair punching needles. These come in different sizes depending on the thickness and the amount of hair that is going to be punched into the object. And I've also got some different hair that I'm going to be working with. Um, the hair that we actually have here, we've got um, crepe hair which comes in almost like little braids like this, this is synthetic. We also have some Susie Frizzle, this is also synthetic hair. You can see it's quite um, quite wiry and very curly. It's really good for laying sideburns onto facial hair. But the hair I'm going to be working with for the hand, I'm going to be using some mohair, which is goat hair, and some yak hair as well to create some thicker strands. Before I start, I'm just going to powder the hand a little bit. It's a little bit shiny. So how I'm going to do my hair punching is I'm going to have some fine hair around the edges to make it look more natural and then we're going to be punching more hair and thicker hair into, um, into the hand as we get further up so it looks a bit more bulkier. So this is the mer hair that we're going to be using. We've just got a couple of different colours here that I'm just going to mix into each other by hand. And I'm going to take one of my mid needles to do this with. So these are the hair punching needles, they come in different sizes. And you'll probably see better on the thicker of the needles, there are little kind of indents in the needle and these are what grab the hair. You might not be able to see them as well on the smaller needles but it's going to be this blue needle that I'm going to use. So when you're hair punching make sure you're using reference images as well so you get the direction of the hair growth right. And I'm going to do is I'm going to just hold the hair at this angle and I'm just going to use my needle and I'm just going to punch in. And you want to use a random pattern as well, but as you can see there, the hair is now secured into the rubber. So obviously if you're hair punching, the needles can be quite sharp, just go careful with your fingers. And if you find you are punching in too much hair, you can always go back in with tweezers and remove some of the hairs. So 
So when you're working um, by punching in the hair, you want to just take into account that you feather out the edge of the hair as well. When you're creating hair lines, you don't want the areas of hair to be as bulky as what they might be in the middle of the area that you're punching into. So you can feather this out by using thinner hair or smaller needles. And then here I'm just adding the nails on. So I'm just going to comb through the hair now that it's all punched in. The things to think about when you're hair punching are just be very careful with your needles because if you're too rough with them or hit anything that might be quite hard or dense inside then they will snap. Um, always use your reference pictures as I mentioned before so you can see the direction of the hair growth but also as you're um, using your needle to punch in make sure you're getting that hair direction right as well because if you're punching in like this then your hair is going to stand up on end you want it to be following a natural hair growth pattern so I'm just going to use my scissors I've had a little bit of a tidy up already but I've just noticed a few areas to trim in a little bit more um, so I don't want this perfect, it's a creature hand, they've not had a haircut or anything like that. So it's going to be quite imperfect, but you still want it to be fairly tidy. Um, so as you'd have maybe seen in the time lapse as well, I made these nails here. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to make one of these. I've literally just taken a normal stick-on nail, it's got a beautiful French tip which we're going to be getting rid of. And I'm just going to measure up to the fingers just to see where can be cut off because I don't want to be cutting them too short and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm cutting almost into a point but not quite into a perfect point um, and once I've got my point I'm just cutting into the nail a little bit downwards as well so we can create some nicks and chips into the nail and I'm just going to take a nail file and I'm going to scuff the top of it just so it's matte and this will also take off that painted French tip as well. And then what I'm going to do is just where I've got those nicks is just use the very edge of the nail file just to cut into those nicks a little bit more so you can see the little chips and things within the nail. And then the easiest way I find to paint them is I just took a bit of blue tack to a pencil so I could line them all up and paint the nails. And I did it in a few different layers using some sort of greys and brownie grey shades, which I'll bring in. And all I did was layer up these colours onto the nail and in between each layer, once it had dried, I went back in with the nail file just to scuff up those curts again. So next what I'm going to do is just show you how to stick the nails on. So I'm literally just going to take some super glue. Just be careful not to get any in the hair because you don't want to end up in a sticky mess. So I've just got a little dot of glue there on the nail and I'm just going to press in the fake nail there and just hold on to it for a few seconds to give it a chance to bond.
Okay, so there we have it as a creature hand using um, some different painting techniques, some hair punching, and we've also added some fake nails as well.